everybody and welcome back to a surprise episode of our modded series where today, all thanks to a specific YouTuber, we have this amazing Nodosaurus to show you guys. But there's a little bit of a surprise, you hear that? What's that? Oh yeah! It ain't no Nodosaurus! Even though it's making sounds like a Nodosaurus, I think. Does it have sounds of a Nodosaurus? I don't actually know. Well, here it is, the beautiful Dimetrodon. This replaces the Nodosaurus and has just came out literally, well, as of recording this, like 10, 50 minutes ago. Um, there's, there's quite a story behind this guy. Quite a beautiful story. We'll get straight into it. But first, before we do, I just want to admire it and have a look at it. Look at that. <gasps> it's so cool. So there is two files that you can download with this guy. Now... Oh, okay. Maybe it's just a Nodosaurus. <laughs> that does not sound like a Dimetrodon kind of sound effect. As you can tell, I mean, the model, apart from it being a quadruped, is really the only kind of sim similarity that it shares. And in fact, that sound didn't sound like a Nodosaurus. So, well, you know what? Maybe I just haven't made enough Nodosauruses in my time to actually know what it sounds like. But the model is completely changed and it is made by, um, Holoquin's Egg Zero. And this is sponsored by a, a certain YouTuber you might know called Best in Slot. Now, I'm curious, is it gonna eat grass? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> it eats grass. It's a, you know, it's a vegetarian, it's forward thinking. Doesn't want to pollute the environment, all that jazz. Um, yeah, there is two types of mods that you can download for this. The, the one I've got right now is just the base. So you just add it into your park and it functions like a Nodosaurus. It just changes its model and what have you. But there is another download that you can have for it, which allows it to eat from the carnivore feeder, allow it to um, attack its own kind because it's like a carnivore, um, that sort of thing. Uh, making it more like a carnivore. I don't think it actually hunts human beings or dinosaurs, but it just kind of acts a bit more like that. But why don't we also check out all of the other little ones? Uh, these, I think, are all... Are these massively big killers, or is it just this one? Uh, maybe they all are, actually. I'm not so sure. <laughs> I mean, so they've got, not only do they have a new... You know, it's a whole new model. It looks amazing. This is actually the first ever glimpse of a mammal in the game. Uh, this first ever, these things don't exist um, in the game at all. So we're looking at a mod first. So back, well, let's get into the story. So what happened about a couple of months ago, there was a mod that allowed you to add in a Dimetrodon. In particular, in specifics, it was the Dimetrodon from Walking With Monsters. Um, now, from what I've heard, uh, the person that, um, I, uh, who will remain nameless, um, just because I don't want to have any sort of hunting squad go out from and what have you. Uh, oh, these, those guys, oh, look at that color. Oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> Yay. Um, I think there's, there's only a few different colors, I think. I could be wrong. Look at them run. It's a bit, oh, wow. Ooh, he looked like he already, he's already been in a fight, but I don't think he has. Well, he can't have. That's so cool just to see it. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Look at them all. Wow, okay, so yeah, they paid for a mod to, or paid a, a modder to put that Demetrodon in the game. Uh, they also paid them for exclusivity rights so that nobody else could have that model in the game. The modern community for Jurassic World uh, evolution is very small. That also meant that um, everyone else kind of found out about it. That <laughs> this guy had paid uh, to have exclusive rights to this Dimetrodon. Um, not this one that's on the screen right now. This looks amazing. Uh, and so does the other one that was uh, exclusively um, theirs. I think under a certain time period it will become available to the general audience. Now, I understand from a business and a YouTube... Oh, look at that shot. Hold on, let's just get into the capture mode and look at... Oh, just get that. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Look at it. We need to turn on normal speed. And what is it? You need to click H? Is it H? God, it's been ages since it. And the C, C, there you go. C. <laughs> it looks fantastic. We need to get lower. Lower. Get low, low, low. Look at that. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, 
So yeah, they they paid for exclusive rights. Now, from a YouTube creator like standpoint, I understand why he did that. Uh, because I mean, if you're the only one that has it, you're gonna get the views. Um, and by you know paying a little bit of extra money, it means that you don't have to compete with anybody else. Oh God, what's happening? Are these? Are you, what what's going on? Are you communicating? You make? Oh, you are, are? You're not having a fight, are you? Now, they will actually have fights with each other, just like a regular Nodosaurus. It'll be interesting to see what the animation looks like, because it's... What's good about this, and what I love about the modern community, and what this is adding... Look at him go! Adding to the game, so happy, like little puppy dog. Frontier has given us loads of the same kind of dinosaurs. So we have Nodosaurus, or Rapelta, and Kynosaur, Crytonosaurus. We have all of these dinosaurs. Um, and a lot of people would trade those just for a new creature. Look at it. You talk to the other one. You talk to your friend. You are. <gasps> yes, you are. Where's the other one? Did we just leave him? Where is he? Somewhere over here. Between the big crack. That's what we call this. The giant crack. Mm, yes. Um, oh, they, oh, they are fighting. Oh, there you go. That's the attack animation. Well, we don't even have to. We're going to put other things into the park, of course. But <laughs> they're not getting on. <laughs> oh, it's great. It actually works. Because if it's an Ankylosaur, they would just spin their tail. Uh, oh, look at that. The blood marks and everything seem to be working right. I think that is... Ooh, there's a little bit of a glitch going on there. We've got a fight. Battle to the death. I mean, I don't know how something like that could charge, you know, with those sails. Without breaking their spine. But hey. Uh, it looks like they are actually going to kill each other, though. <laughs> yeah, they're going to kill each other. Yeah, their, their social or popular... It must be social limit must be reached, I think. Unless this is just in their code. It might be possible. Unless, are they going to stop? No, no, they are definitely not going to stop. So, um, what Connor, uh, best of thought, decided to do was uh, sponsor one of these, which is an actual Dimetrodon that the whole community, the public, oh, they're calling it off, that's good, um, could enjoy. Um, and in doing so, it's a perfect PR move. It's beautiful. Nice work. <laughs> nice work, Connor. <laughs> um, but I do understand where... Uh, where he's coming from because he does mention about how um in his video that you, you know going down that route even though it you know from a youtuber youtuber creative point of view it means that you get you know all the views and all that jazz but it also means that no one else can enjoy it and it's just going to put a sour taste in everyone else's mouth who does cover this sort of stuff um you know we should have the interrupt to take them on i think i think it might lose actually because it's got a lot i think they've got a lot more uh, defense on them so let's watch an interrupt they're killed by oh well there's one dead already but let's see how this thing dies or how it kills it because i think it leaps onto it i'm not sure let's go have a look see shall we i also i also love i was like wait how do you make a 10 minute video on this when it's just looking at the creature and then i realized at the end of his video it's just like four seconds of blank <laughs> i was like there you go that's beautiful but this model looks beautiful i love it um i i won't be doing anything like this uh, i won't be buying and making exclusive uh, you know, mods and rights. I wouldn't mind if this is something I really wanted to see in the game to pay somebody for the work. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you think you get a free meal there, buddy? No, you're not. Whoops. I placed that down just in case the Demetrodon um, was going to uh, feed off the carnivore feeders. I do want to say a big thank you to Vessenslot. Oh, God. For, oh, I'm telling the guy, wow. Great A content this is. What I also found quite interesting was that um, Connor was actually sponsoring a mod. <laughs> when we were uh, worried that if we were to at one point do anything to do with mods um that they would you know people would get banned from attending events or uh even covering the game which oh look at that look at the way he just sort of came over the crest that's like oh what is it but i do i do get the reason why he did it and now everybody else who can do this, has the opportunity to add a creature, because it ain't a dinosaur, into the game that they've wanted for a long, long time. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, guys, place your bets. Oh, it's cool. Look out. Is it? Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, he roars as well. Are they? Are they? Oh, oh okay. You... He's waiting for the no or should I say, Demetrodon to slowly walk up to it. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be a big space. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Get closer. Don't be shy. You know what its face looks like? It looks like that M. It is from the Walking with Monsters, but it's not Demetrodon. It's the Mammalian um, Rugops or something it's called. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, we are. Hits it on the, the cheek. A little love tap. Okay, that's interesting that it got the first hit. Oh, it gets the second hit. I think it's going to kill it. <laughs> 
Is it going to get the third in? Oh, Interruptor doesn't stand a chance against the new Dimetrodon. Oh, no. Is it, oh, it's done it. I think it's killed it. Now, is Interruptor just going to fall over? Because I don't think it has a kill animation, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there you go. It's down and out. Yay! You win! He's so happy about it. Oh no! He just flopped over and died, did. Well, these guys will get on. Uh, I'm just wondering, are these the, the super strong ones? Are they all plus 64, plus 60 to defense? What about the other one? They seem to be running along together. Murderers! Partners in crime! What about you? Nope, you're, you're exactly the same. I think it's about time we had a close look at a... Carcharodontosaurus! Oh yeah! What's that? You made it this far into the video and you didn't think there was going to be any more surprises? <laughs> Beaver's got you covered. This is the well- Oh my god, it's so glorious. I mean, it doesn't sound like it, but as you can quite clearly see, it is the one from Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. And it looks amazing. Now, Carcharodontosaurus was one of those dinosaurs in this game that I was never really truly fussed over. It kind of looked, had a weird shaped jaw to it. But there was one that always, I remember, and there will always be one Carcharodontosaurus. And it's gosh darn this one. And it looks glorious. Now, oh, he's going for- Oh my god, look how tiny the Dimetrodon is! <laughs> Go on, run underneath it. Go on. <laughs> oh my god, is it really that- Is the size difference that much? Oh wow, well, I, I kind of- I think all of these were 36%, 100%, and 23%. Depends which one this Carcharodontosaurus decides to start a fight with. If it's the 100% health one. Oh no, it's the 37! I think it's gonna be this one. Hold on, guys. It is gonna be this one. Oh no. Oh, bless him. <laughs> He's not gonna stand much of a chance. Look at the size difference. Now, the Carcharodontosaurus should have a kill animation with him. So this should be good. I mean, I don't know who's gonna attack first. Oh, look at that, the blue eyes. Blue eyes, brown dragon. Oh, he goes for the first bite, and I think... Oh, no! Puppy doll! His head's glitching a bit through the floor there. And... Oh, down it goes! Oh, Dimetrodon taken out. Bless it. Well, Carodontosaurus is very happy with himself. Although, if he took on the other one with 100% health, um, you'd be dead. But you're very lucky, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, you're hungry, but you didn't eat him. And now I'm going to transport him away. Oh, there's another one here? Wow, they just keep popping up. I forget how many I released. Really, we got to look at the bigger picture here. This isn't just a regular, well, you know, it is a Dimetrodon, but what does it mean? It means that as long as the modern community keeps making strides and, you know, being able to put rigs onto new creatures, um, I mean, I'm assuming they weight paint everything and they push the rig around or at least get it similar and working a bit close to it. Aquatic creatures and or glacier creatures. And when I mean aquatic creatures, they can't, they'll probably not be able to make them, you know, primarily just stay in the water unless something specific is found in them because we don't have any creatures that are just limited to, um, oh, look at that sign. <laughs> That's great. We don't have any creatures that are just limited to, you know, just staying in the water, or just staying on ground or something like that. Maybe if they somehow manage to code in the water being a fence, then maybe? And if they were able to make deep water, but something like that doesn't exist in the game as in its present state, or at least, you know, within the playable area of the game. But we could be seeing aquatic creatures. We could be seeing stuff like the woolly mammoth and all that jazz. I'm really excited to see. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave it here. Are you are you guys okay? Are you, are you in a group yet? Oh, you are. Three's just enough. Oh, that's great news. Fantastic. And these guys will be able to kill the Carcharodonosaurus when they next see him. But look at him there. Beautiful. But no, that's a video for another time. No, 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 no. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. Uh, again, like I said during the video, a big thank you uh, to Best and Stop for sponsoring this. Um, I don't know whether he paid for it. I think he did. Um, but also for not taking the route of making it private and allowing everyone else to have the opportunity to have this in their park. Something that, you know, it's not just a little dinosaur. It's not just something. It, it's, it's, it's a big step. It is a Dimetrodon and something that the community uh, has been wanting for such a long time. So if you've enjoyed it, like I said before, guys, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.